think one of my so-called friends is now my biggest threat. Which one? Which one of you is it? Sir. What? I feel if this person is close to you, why not try to recruit them rather than destroy them? Go on. Technomancers are rare. And if you could utilize that power, you'd be 1,000% more capable. Besides, due to their rarity, no known metal is known to be resistant to technomancers. It may be your only option. But I work alone. Maybe I should be concerned about the lessons I never learned. Maybe I should read the news, despite the fact it gives me the blues. But I live life my own way, and I don't know how things will go, or if I'll even have a say. I'm learning to control the glow as I sit and create. My true powers I cultivate. Well, later in that day. Hey, Manic, about last week. Sorry your character died. What? Huh? Today, I've prepared a special campaign. Oh, jeez. You will be able to choo choose from any of your past characters, dead or alive, I've saved copies of all the character sheets and have them with my adventure data. In today's adventure, your character awakens in a futuristic town square with no memory of how they came to be there. You also find this mysterious item among your last used inventory, along with a small card reading, Disassembly Remote, good for one use. Begin. Hang on, I haven't picked my character yet. Oh, is that my older character? Yeah! There's this one I have in mind. I can't believe you kept these. Why did you keep these? Oh my gosh, remember how lucky I was on rolling my stats on this one? Yeah, here's the one I was looking for. Woo! Manic, I had forgotten that one. Total punk! All of mine are wizards. Why do I always play wizards? What, you expect one of us to play one? I thought you liked playing wizards. Okay, do we all have our characters? I will play as my ogre character. He's tough, no nonsense, all power. I will play as my half elf swordsman. He's quick and can deal major damage. I play my top level wizard. He's nearly the highest level and knows almost every spell. I will use my lioness thief. Super speedy, stealthy, and her weapon is the crystalline staff. Great, let's get started already. You fantasy dwellers awaken in a sci-fi square. Giant TVs and billboards loom overhead. You have no memory of how you came to be here or obtain the one used disassembly remote. Are there other people around? Tons. They don't seem put off by your fantasy appearance, but they aren't eager to talk either. This is strange. Maybe everyone in this in the world used to be from a fantasy and just merged. There's always a trick or puzzle to be solved. We should ask someone. I ask someone, where are we? Roll for luck. The person walks by you and ignores you. They have headphones in. I use, then I use my disassembly remote on the headphones. Dude, it's only good for one use. Don't care, doing it, roll. You're successful, and the surprised person turns around. Hey man, my tunes! What you do that for? They say. Where are we? I ask. Your remote falls apart, by the way. Roll for luck. The local changes the subject. Oh, you have a disassembly remote? Those are really rare and valuable. Rare, huh? Valuable. Ask him where I can sell one. A giant robot steps on the guy you were talking to. 
and looks at you as if to challenge. Here is what the robot looks like. One of you guys use your remote. It's still too soon for this to be the final boss. Gotta save mine. Yeah, still kind of holding out the bell. I can't. What if that robot's an AI? It'd be like murder. Its right hand is becoming a cannon. And it's beginning to glow as it's charging a weapon. I use my detection spell to look for weak spots in its form. Your spell reveals a control panel on the back of its head. It appears to be its only vulnerability. Liam, throw me on its head. I'm the only one agile enough to survive the throw. What if I miss? Let the dice decide that. Alright, I throw Manic on the robot's head. Liam, you are able to throw Manic high enough to reach the robot's head. Now what? My spell discolored the panel. It should be easy to find. Uh, is the robot still charging its thing? No, it's firing. I cast my highest level shield. Your shield prevents all damage. Now all Manic has to do is take it out by the control panel. Does the lioness have enough raw strength to take apart a robot? Don't worry. The unbreakable staff of crystalline can handle it. I attempt to use the crystalline staff to open the control panel. We manage to get the panel open, but the wooden base of the staff breaks. The staff is unfixable and may be damaging to use due to splinters. I ditch the splintering wood and keep the unbreakable crystal to use like a knife. Nothing in inside is nothing but a maze of wires and only one output to setting display in a language you can't read. I just start cutting wires. The robot goes crazy, its head spinning, and it starts charging its weapons aimed at the sky. At least it's not aiming at us. <laughs> But can Manic hold on? I climb inside the control panel to keep from flying off. Um, what? Well, you said it's a maze of wires. Not in the literal sense. Then why'd you say it like that? It sounded cool. You can't climb in the panel. There isn't room. Well, how much room is there? How's it built? You can't possibly want me to explain the workings of an imaginary robot. Well, why not? You always have some kind of chart. You even gave the DIY stuff for the man-powered flying mech, you know. Oh, yeah! I tried to build that. Huh. This is why we're always playing fantasy, right? Sasha, you don't have to raise your hand, Liam. And you don't have to keep making this so hard for us. Seriously. At least let her roll. Fine. You make it inside, but the head is still spinning so you can barely move. Trevor! Trevor, can you use that swapping spell? Why? <laughs> because maybe instead of swapping things, you can swap people! Gasp! Of course! If you and I switch places, I can just use an exploding spell. I use my swap spell to switch places with Manic. Your magic succeeds to connect you and Manic. Switch places. I cast my most powerful exploding spells. The robot explodes with you in it. We rush over to help Trevor. Manic, you're too dizzy to walk. I'll carry the lioness. I have enough base power. Did my character die? No, but you are very injured. Did I faint? No, but you can't stand. Oh, Trevor, wait. I have a potion in my inventory. Remember how this half-elf died with so much stuff? The potion heals you, but you notice a large tank emerging from between the buildings. And also, the electronic billboards are now static. Lights go on behind the tank, and four silhouettes are visible. They look like your character. The lights dim, and you see it's four f fighting robots built in your likenesses. Oh man, we gotta fight. You gotta fight. Manic, Liam, get your remotes. But, AI, 
Yeah. Yeah, okay. I use my disassembly remote. Me too. I can't be sure if it's AI or not. My characters never kill. Destroying AI is like murder. It's not really a person, Manic. It's not even a player. It's the principle. Trevor and Liam's robot doubles are destroyed, as well as their remotes. But Manic and Sid's doubles pose to attack as a figure emerges from the top of the tank. It's a giant black widow! And it seems to have control of the entire square. All the billboards show its face, and it appears menacing as it stands under one. I am the widow of technology! Wait. Uh, what? Did you say it was standing under one of the electronic billboards? Yes, Manic. Why are you... I use my disassembly remote on the billboard. What? No, no! You, you can't just skip that entire fight! Wait, what about the robots? They were being controlled by the spider. Don't you know how hard AI is and how dumb spiders are? Wait, so we win? No! Um, why not, Sasha? It makes sense to me. Yeah, an electronic billboard? Electronic disabler? No! That is not how this campaign ends. This is how this group ends! I quit! What? You heard me. Find yourselves a new game master. I'm going back to the game I can't lose. Boom. It's not the GM's job to win or lose. It's their job to run the game. Okay, so my older brother says he can't GM until summer. Anyone have a better solution? That night was about to get really annoying for me. Jenkins! Any change is hard. And I was faced with the big one. I didn't even think about Sasha at the time. Tell me you have more info. Tell me there's a way to defeat the Technomancer. So, no teamwork then? Of course not. You know, your mother... Do not bring her into this. I answer to no one. I am Bat Vider now, and she is just a memory. Yes... I know. I had known Sasha for some time. Good. Resume your research. Very well. Good night, my child. But I guess I had never even thought about what her life was like. <laughs>